we want to now set this up for um, other people to be able to edit it at the same time. So we need to set up what's called work sharing. And this is how we do that. We go to the collaborate tab up top. It's a collaboration issue. And over here on the left is a collaborate button. Like I say, collaborate enables collaboration so team members can work on a model simultaneously. You can edit and sync a model in the cloud, on a LAN, or on a wide area network. We, of course, are going to set this up for our LAN, our office LAN, so that we can use it on our server. But I do have a client that, an electrical contractor client that hosts a model in the cloud so that they can edit it and I can edit it at the same time. We're not doing that here. Let's just go to a within your network. Okay. It's going to set this up to be a shareable plan. Simple as that. What that does now is it lets us share. Now, I can't synchronize or do anything yet until I actually save this as a central model. So after I've already said collaborate, now I need to, I'm going to do save as just to be sure. Save as project. Okay, it's given it the same name. Options. There we go. There's that 20. We don't want 20. We want one. Okay, and save it. We have to save it. Once we set collaborate, we have to save it for it to become a central model, kind of a master model on the server. So it's doing its thing. Okay. Now I'm in the actual central model and I, from now on, I don't want to actually be in the central model. So I'm going to close this out. Okay, I closed the central model. Now when I, from now on, when I say open and I pick the central model, look down here. Now I have options. I can detach it from central, which is what we did with that architectural model. We don't want to do that on our, our electrical. Or I can create a new local copy. This checks by default. We want to leave it checked. We want to create a new local copy to edit and then synchronize this with our central model on the server. So open this. What this will do is it will append your username up here. It's pretty much just your name. It will append your username up top to the file name when it opens. Now it's opening, it's um, loading the link, which is pretty big. So it takes a minute to open this file. But it's going to, uh, the clue you'll see is your username appended to the end of the actual file name. Here we go. So the tutorial electrical 25 it appended my full username, which is my email address to the end of this. And when I, um, if I was to look on my local PC, I would see this file name on my local PC. So from now on, instead of just saving, I actually want to use this little button next to it called synchronize. Now it updates the local copy of the work shared project. Um, it also syncs with the central model. There's a drop down by it. Um, if you want to modify any settings, which we don't need to modify any settings. So what you can just do is do synchronize now or the default is will become synchronized now. So now anytime I work on this model, I want to synchronize, save. We're actually going to sync it every 30 minutes. It'll pop up and say, do you want to synchronize? Yes, you want to synchronize. So now we've created 
an electrical project. We've linked in the architectural model. We've set up some plans. We've modified the view templates. So this project now is pretty much ready to, to go by your electrical project team. Um, and uh, we will start getting into it on the next video. All for now.